What's up guys, this is Joe and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, the Leon B scenario here on the Republic of Joe. And yes, we have finally made it to the last episode, the finale, the conclusion of the Resident Evil 2 canon storyline with the Leon B scenario here. And we're just going to get right into things by getting rid of unnecessary things like I always do. And just, you know, we got the platform key here, which we're going to be using like literally right outside of the, uh, the train, almost at the plane. Don't need the shotgun anymore, it's not going to be doing us any good and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and stock up on my health items because if you guys haven't guessed already Mr. X is not dead and we haven't seen the last of him yet so that's why I'm getting all these health items and that's why I've got my souped up magnum equipped so this is what we're gonna be going with hopefully I can survive so let's keep on heading through here oh I, how am I gonna survive without equipping the gun there we go all right so let's go ahead and get things going here and I'm really happy I was able to get this video out to you guys tonight because I updated my Twitter and I had, you know, told you guys about how I'm just in the middle of such a hard study crunch. I have four exams next week. Four! I'm taking five classes. That's almost an exam in every class, but one. I've got four exams next week, including chemistry, which is like the hardest subject for me. So I'm just in a really, I'm really studying really hard and I'm just happy to be able to get this out there to you guys. Because I know it's been like a day or something since I uploaded a video. And there we go, the platform key is useless now, I told you we'd be using it like literally right outside of the train. And just a real quick cl clarification, if there's ever a day where I don't upload a video, it's not because, oh, what's this? Of course, the classic five minute countdown. Um, it's not because I don't want to do the video, it's because just something in my actual, you know, life has taken priority, like studying or... And uh, like a week or two ago, I was doing the car shopping, and said, that's why. It's not because I don't want to do the videos, it's because something has come up, so that explains that. But let's go ahead and activate this, because you can see all these bars over here. They're not just there for no reason. Of course, I'm going to open it, and you'll see this cool animation where all the bars move out of the way. And we've got these two plug-looking things here. A joint S plug, and there's another one. It's called the joint N plug. There you go. So now I've got both those plugs. We're going to be using them very shortly. Because you just have to head right under this walkway and go to this back room. We're going to go ahead and restore power to the train so we can actually use it to get the hell out of here. The city is going to blow up. We've got five minutes, four and a half minutes left. And you hear all that trembling. That doesn't really help either. But the actual terminal you want to go ahead and use the plugs in is right over here. So let me go ahead and just get them in. I think if I use one, it'll do both of them for me, which is kind of cool. Yeah, see, so I put both of them in place. The emergency mode has been activated. The power supply will be cut temporarily. The emergency train will be activated upon restoration of the power. All right, so now we've got no power. Great. Now we have to wait for this. Whoa. That is the most epic music in the game. I don't even know what that track is called. It is awesome. I mean, Mr. X must feel like a beast right now getting that intro music. But yeah, I told you guys we weren't done with them yet. So that's why I've got all these health items equipped. Just to make sure I don't die. And hopefully I don't. Because I don't know how many shots from this magnum it takes to put Mr. X down. Super Mr. X down. Because look at this guy. Oh, whoa. Use this. Ada, is that you? Ada. Did you see that? that? That did look like Ada. It sounded like her too. And she dropped this rocket launcher for Leon. So is Ada not dead? Is she still alive? She looked pretty dead to me, but apparently not. Alright, so let me go ahead and get the rocket launcher equipped here. And hopefully this will be enough to put an end to Super Mr. X. Come on, Leon. I just gotta line it up. Game over. Gone. There's no coming back from that. There is no coming back from that. You just see like the uh, the ashes. Look at his remains. Just there we go. The power has been restored too. But I was gonna see if we can inspect these, but we can't. And I was gonna see if we could see Ada up here somewhere. She came from one of these like little towers, but I don't know where she went. I we can't even inspect it either. But I don't want to waste any more time. I mean, I can't be wasting time when we've got a countdown like timer on the screen, count down to the city's detonation. Don't want to be wasting any more time than necessary. So let's go ahead and hightail it back to the train and get this thing going. Power has been restored. And yes, I have an extra rocket in my rocket launcher. I've got one, and I'm just going to hold on to that and not just waste it, you know, just for the hell of it. There's no zombies or anything around, so why waste it? I'll just keep it. Makes Leon look even more awesome with his biker jacket and a rocket launcher equipped. And man, that was, um, that was epic. I don't even know why, I don't even know where Ada came from, like I've been saying. I, she just apparently she's still alive, so she's gonna try to escape Raccoon City, you know, some somehow without getting on the train because I don't think she gets on the train with us. So we'll be finding about out about that eventually, or if you know ever, I don't even know if you do. 
Is Claire here yet? Because Sherry's still by herself. I'm going to go and check the... No, we don't want to go to the back. We want to go to the front. I'm going to activate the controls. I mean, if Claire doesn't get here soon, she's going to get left behind. I'm sorry. We have to leave the city. The tunnel gate isn't open yet. All right, do I have to open the tunnel gate? Let me go and head back outside. I didn't know about anything about that. All right, we'll have to do that. Let me go ahead and head out here. Actually, I don't really remember if I had to, like, take the plugs back out of the room where we fought Mr. X to put him back into the spots where I originally, you know, found them. Let me go and head down here, dodge some of these zombies. You know what? We've got more than enough magnum ammo. We're going to combine these things and just blow these guys away. I think it's like an automatic headshot. Yeah, one. Oh, come on, Leon. Straighten it up. Two. There we go. I'm just checking back here to make sure there's nothing back here I need to get. Oh, well, what do you know? This is it, isn't it? A device to open the tunnel gate. Will you turn on the switch? Yes. The gate now is open, and we can get out of here. We gotta get back into the, what was it called last episode? Like the Galaxy 5000 or something? Yeah, we have to get back in there. It sounds like some type of, like, spaceship or something. Try to shake off these last zombies. You know what? We're just gonna kill them. Why not? There we go. One. Oh, this guy, I can feel like brains. Oh, dang, I shot his leg off. All right, no more wasting time, Joe. What are you doing? Get back in the train. I was like... I don't know, I thought it would be cool to kill them, but then I gotta remember we've got the timer. Alright, so now I should be able to get the train started now that the gate is open. And Claire still isn't here, so I don't know. Will you move the lever? Yes, I will. I thought that was the end of the game. He even gave the epic goodbye Ada line. Well, we'll go have we'll have to head back there to see what's going on. What was that? I'm happy they kept Claire's outfit on too. We both got custom outfits here. Even even Sherry kind of. She's got Claire's vest on. But let's go ahead and check to see what's going on. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat. This train will detonate. What's wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. All right, great. So I'm stuck out here. I forget what this piece is called between two trains, but I'm stuck out here, and the thing's going to detonate in two minutes. Just great. And I was the one that activated the train, and Claire gets to go away scot-free. Awesome. Let's see, what's holding, let's see what's holding us up back here. I don't know what... Oh, wait a minute. It looks like there's nothing, and my game is going awesome right about now, but it looks like there's nothing back here. I don't know what's going on. Let's go ahead and see. Apologize for all this what's going on here. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, my whole game is like catching a virus, and what's this? It's like a big tongue-looking thing. Is the whole train going to get, like, engulfed by... Oh, my... What is this? Oh, is this like the leftovers of William Birkin? It kind of looks like the, the boss from Claire's scenario with all the teeth and the spikes. It's even got the G-Virus eyes on it. Alright, that thing is ridiculously huge. Alright, we're gonna have to take it down. 
got that crazy song going on too. Alright, now if you guys haven't been able to guess yet, yes, that is William Birkin, I believe, and that is the culmination of his G-Virus, you know, infection. So let's go ahead and use the rocket launcher. That didn't do much, he just like kind of sucked it up there. I'll have to go ahead, don't want to check the description, not at this time. Go ahead and equip some more bullets in the Magnum and just fire away until he's dead. I mean, he's not that hard of a boss, if, he, if you can kill him before he gets next to you anyway. Hopefully I can do it. I gotta make sure I keep track of my gun. Oh, there he goes. Alright, now he's just gonna melt like the Wicked Witch. <laughs> I can throw water on him. Ooh, and he's turning like a different color and everything. I guess he's rotting even more than he was already rotted. That is gross. I wonder how long he keeps like spreading. Look at this. Can we walk on him or anything? No. That's freaking disgusting. But hopefully that'll be the end of the terror of William Birkin and the G-Virus. Now let's get back up there. Hopefully it'll let me in out of the biohazard like threat has been eliminated. So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> All right, and that is the end, the complete end of Resident Evil 2, and you guys are getting treated to my classic light show like from last time. It's just the credits. It's not that big of a deal. But as usual with the credits, I've already done it at the end of the Claire A scenario. I usually give a review of it, and there's not really much more I can say about this game that I didn't say last time. I mean, I love the game. It's one of my favorite games in the Resident Evil, you know, whole series. Resident Evil 2 is awesome. I mean, it's got awesome characters. It's got a good plot. It's got characters... The character's probably the biggest thing, like the introduction of Leon Kennedy. He's like a mainstay throughout the rest of the series. I mean, in this game, he wasn't as cool as he is in later games, but still, this is the game where we first got to play as him, so gotta give it props for that. I know last time I gave a little review of the game, I was talking about how the music in the game wasn't that great, you know, there wasn't too many memorable tracks, and I still think compared to, like, all video games in general, the music in this game 
is okay, but it's not. there's not too many memorable tracks, but there definitely are a few, like the save room music, that little sound effect when Mr. X crawls out of the, uh, the lava is awesome. I didn't hear that in the Claire scenario because we didn't have to fight him in that scenario. The music when the big, huge G-Virus monster comes is awesome. I mean, so there are some pretty good tracks in the game. It's definitely not completely unmemorable at all, uh, so I'll give it that. Like I said last time, the story is good. It's interesting. It keeps you invested in one... And it makes it gives you an incentive to play the two different scenarios. That's one of the biggest pluses about this game is how it splits up the two different scenarios, the Claire scenario and the Leon scenario, and how each of them have unique things um, tied to each of them. So it gives you an incentive to play through both of them so you can see the complete story like I did for you guys. This is the canon uh, setup. You play Claire first, then you play Leon. And I thought that was one of the best features of the game. It just gave the game uh, more playtime. You know, it didn't. It made you want to keep playing the games. You could see what would happen in both scenarios, even if it's not the canon. Even if you played them in the other order, you would get to see you know unique stuff. So that's really a big thing about the game. Not even including. I don't even know if it's in the original version. Maybe it's in a later version of the game. Uh, but if you complete it in a certain amount of time, you can unlock even more game modes. So that's what made Resident Evil 2, you know, so long lasting was the amount of content it had, which is kind of similar with. Uh, what Capcom was trying to do with Resident Evil 6. Now, I don't know if I wouldn't say Resident Evil 6 is nearly as good as this, but it's just a comparison, you know? Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I have to say for Resident Evil 2. we got the classic Resident Evil 2 logo coming up right here with all my ridiculous rainbow effects over it. But there you go, nice and short credits, actually. I thought they were going to be a lot longer than that. And we should be getting, uh, it should be taking us back to the main menu right about now. Oh, or not. It's going to give me my rank class. i got Leon there with that huge desert eagle, it looks like. Some other cops, which is unusual, because I thought he was like the last surviving cop. But there you go. I got a ranking of B, Leon B. I completed the game in 3 hours, 37 minutes, and 29 seconds, and I saved 9 times. Basically, one save after each episode I did. So there you go. Leon B, rank B, which is pretty awesome. I think, uh, you know, B rank isn't bad. I think the highest you can get in this game is an S. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just an A. I don't know. But, I mean, a B is is reasonable. I'm not going to complain with that. And I'm not trying to, you know, unlock all the other stuff. I just wanted to do a clean playthrough of both scenarios for you guys. So I'll go ahead and save over this. And let's see what it overwrites it with. It should be like a Claire A. Yeah, Claire A. And you can go into that and play that to see what happens as well. But I'm not because I just wanted to show you guys the canon, you know, setup with the first, with the two scenarios. And now it should be taking you back to the load up screen. Yeah, see? Now, usually at these screens, at the end of a Let's Play, I try to talk about what I want to do for the future. Now... I have a couple of games in mind for future Let's Plays right about now. Pretty much, uh, I want to do something new. I've been doing, you know, older games for a while. And I understand if you guys want to see older games, I have I have a mix of old games and new games that I would like to Let's Play next. Uh, I'll start with the new games first. I've been looking at either Alan Wake, Amnesia the Dark Descent, or Bioshock. And they all kind of have their horror elements because we are in the month of October, which is the month of Halloween. So I decided, you know... If I'm heading into October, fresh off of Resident Evil 2, maybe I should keep the horror theme going for the rest of the month because of Halloween. So, Alan Wake, Amnesia the Dark Descent, or Bioshock. If you guys would like me to see, like to see me do any of those three games, leave it in the comments, please. You guys have to leave comments so I can see what you think. You know, I'll take it into consideration and see what I want to do. Now, for older games, um, just one thing that's been really shining in my mind is Tomb Raider. That might be out of nowhere, but I used to play those games a lot when I was younger, and it's been a while. So if you guys want to see me do Tomb Raider, you know, if you want to, if you want me to stick with the older games, then there you go. And then I've got, I know there's some of you that are saying, why don't you just go right into MGS2, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, since I did the Metal Gear Solid 1 Let's Play. And that's pretty much the reason why I don't want to get into that just yet, you know, for my next Let's Play. Maybe the one after that, because I'm fresh off of a Let's Play of the first Metal Gear Solid, and I kind of want to keep variety here on the channel. So... You know, if you guys want me to do MGS2, it'll probably not be the next game, but most definitely, or most likely, it will be the game after that. So don't think I'm never going to do it. I'm going to Let's Play the whole Metal Gear Solid series for you guys, you know, eventually over time. The same with Resident Evil. Uh, but I just want to do something kind of different next, you know? So go ahead and leave it in the comments. Tomb Raider, Amnesia the Dark Descent, Alan Wake, or Bioshock. Or any other uh, games you would like to see. Maybe I'll take it into consideration. But just try to focus on those games. Uh, and tell me what you want me to do next. So I appreciate the feedback. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. So to wrap up things with Resident Evil 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the videos. I've had such a great time making them for you guys. It was a dream for me to let's play Resident Evil 2. It was the Let's Play I, I originally wanted to do when I started making these videos like a year ago. So it feels really awesome. I feel like I've come full circle now that I've been able to Let's Play it for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos. And as always, I cannot wait to see you guys back for my next Let's Play here on the Republic of Joe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I can't wait to see you next time.